Welcome to the, uh, the talk in the afternoon. Uh, my name is Jensen Chow. I'm a professor at the Office of International Affairs and also the Center for General Education. Uh, I'm a substitute because the original moderator, he, uh, she has to uh, interview the people who is coming to the Biotechnology Center. So she, she, she has a complex schedule, so I will be here. Uh, it's good that I will have more people to come. Uh, today it's our great honor to have uh, Professor Xiang Mark uh, Agri. Uh, actually, he is not quite new here. Uh, he comes to visit us quite often, uh, probably every six months, somewhere between three <laughs> to six months. Uh, he is uh, closely related uh, or associated with the medical school. So uh, let me give you a brief introduction about Dr. Xiang Mark. Uh, he, he got his PhD in chemistry, biochemistry. And he, I, this is the first time I saw from uh, his CV that he's also graduated in environmental sciences, as opposed to uh, life science. And then he was the research director in, uh, in CERN, which is a French, French institute, National Institute of Health and Medical uh, Research. Uh, this is the only uh, public research institute which focuses on human health and uh, medical research in French. So, and he has been served as the board, board member, which is a very long list, I'm not going to go through with them. He's also a member of the academy in France, uh, so I think that he has a lot of uh, chance to interview people and has all kind of experience in dealing with uh, foreign students and also exchange programs. So I think that he is the ideal person who talk about that. If you have to pursue your degree or you want to come to France to do your postdoctoral research, he should be the best person to talk about this problem. So without further ado, let's welcome Professor Andrew. Thank you. I can speak maybe without microphone. You, can you hear me? It's okay or you want me to have the microphone? The people in the back You hear? Can you hear me? It's a microphone will be better. So okay, it's better with that. Uh -huh. So yes, uh, of course, uh, it's, it's always good in a lab to have a good student, good master's degree, good postdoc. Because I don't know if you are aware, but it's not the PI who are doing research, it's the student. So that we should think about that. So they asked me to tell you that uh, if some of you would like to apply in France, how to do that. I should say that uh, the Taiwanese, they know only one country beside the Taiwan, it's US. Because everyone is going US. You even have created specific charter, low cost flight, to directly fly to US with non-stop. But there is other country, especially in Europe. And I may tell you that the research in Europe is as good, if not better than in US. More much more original because you know it's a very old country. You have Germany, England, Italy, so the country have a history starting uh, several, several centuries ago. So then you should think that now we have a very good institute, very good lab in all over Europe. So now they, they asked me to, to tell you how to do that, but just I will tell you how are the study in France because it's not like you. For example, in France, we first have, as here, what we call the master degree one. And the master degree one, you have course during the year, except two months, which are in a lab. It's obliged to be to lab. And then if you succeed to have the examination and then you make a little report, then you can go to the master degree two. It's also one year, but in this case, you have six months in a lab. 
always you can choose your lab, you go where you want, and if the PI can accept you. So here it is two months, here it is six months. I should immediately tell you that the two months here are not paid. But in France we have a rule, the six months, if the, we have a student for six months, we are obliged to offer them at least between 460 and 500 euro per month during the six months, just for little living expense, in addition of any kind of scholarship you may have. So then you have to keep that in mind. After you got the master two degree, during the master two degree, then you try to find a place to get a PhD, to find a lab in which you can exert a PhD. In France, we have a rule. The PhD should never be more than three years. It's an obligation to have a PhD three years. There is an exception for life science. If you have, you should write a letter and to the president of the university for a fourth year. If after the fourth year it is considered that you have done nothing, you don't have a PhD. So you see they give you three and plus. Usually in life science, I may tell you in my lab, everyone stay for you. Because in three years, it's very difficult to get a PhD, to get a first paper. I will give you statistics later. So we always have for a fourth year that. It's forbidden to have more than four years. If, for example, there is a PI who several times he has more than four times, four years, PG, then the university will no more accept him to have PhD student, which means that the PI is not able to propose and to uh, help a student to get a PhD. And that is very, very, very strict. So that is, you should keep that in mind. It's not like here. It's forbidden to have a PhD during six, seven years. It's uh, not very well appreciated. So then, uh, the question now is how to try to go for a PhD. I should first tell you that I learned that today that in France it is accepted to have students, even from Taiwan, coming for the laboratory uh, experiments for six months, and in this case we are obliged to pay that, to pay them that. I know that the French office can provide you also for the master degree some scholarship which has much higher. I heard that it is between 800 and 900 euro for six months or even one year. In such case, you should make the entire year. If you do a master degree, the, the, the laboratory period, it could be in co-tutel with one of your lab here. So then, and then we are obliged to give you. It's okay to survive. You cannot uh, go in the bar every day. You, you need to appreciate water. And you are obliged to work. So that is the condition. Now, once you got the master degree, we have different ways to make a PhD. After the master degree, what we call the Ministry of Research of Education offer scholarship. The scholarship for the best student. It's a kind of course you have an interview of thing. For example, in Strasbourg, I could tell you there is around between 40 and 50 applicants. There is at least 30 fellowships. So if you, if you have a good interview and if you have a good, good uh, laboratory period, you have a lot of chance to go to that. If the Minister of Research of Education offers you a scholarship, you will get between 35 and 14 
hundred euro per month only during three years. As I told you, because the university is not allowed to pay you a fourth year. So, okay, you see that. So then it's a way to find that, that it's through the official service. If, for example, it's not finished, then there is a lot of place where you can apply for a fourth year. So, but also, that is the official stuff, but you may have other way to have scholarship. For example, you have PI who have the big grant. We have, for example, very big grant in Europe. Big grant that is 2.5 million euro for five years. With that, you know, you have 500,000 euro per month. I may tell you in my lab, I got a grant like that, and I could offer a PhD for three years for three or four students from Italy, from, uh, uh, from Russia, from uh, Portugal, and things like that. So then you have some PI, and then you don't go to that. You just be, need to be in touch with the PI, interview mm -hmm. you, and then you make the deal. So that it's a second way through the PI grant. So then the PI can discuss with you, okay, okay, I like what you want to do, okay, let's come tomorrow, and then you will have the contract. That is also a bit. You have also a third possibility. You have, you, you, you see, discuss with different PI, thing like that, and maybe you could be interested to go in this lab to work with this PI on a specific topic. And then the PI can apply at different places. It could make an application at the Institut National of the Cancer, Foundation for the Medical Research, Association Research of the Cancer, and the PI will get a package, a certain amount of money, plus a certain amount of uh, uh, money for making the lab working. That is the third place of that. And you have a fourth is caritative association. You have associations that are, for example, interested uh, the association on the breast cancer. Say, OK, we will offer a scholarship for one lab who would like to work on breast cancer or to work on Parkinson's disease or to work. And then you have to join a specific group working on that and then you can make the application. So then you see there is different way to do that, but one of the most prestigious is that because it's highly selected, and then on your CV you can say that. But the other are very good. This one is also good because if you go in a lab and then we will come back, of someone who was gr highly granted by the European community, it's also a kind of label. So, concerning the French office here, they just are able to give you something for the master's degree, and they can help you, but they cannot provide scholarship for PhD and for postdoc. However, the most in Taiwan offer for the student some scholarship for PhD and some for some postdoc. It should be very well written, I, I don't know, I have not read what they request, but usually they need a motivation letter, they need also a CV of the student, and they need also to know what want to do the, the, the student, and if you can be precise to say, I would like to go in this lab because I am interested to work on, uh, uh, to help uh, on rare disease, for example, or on uh, immunotherapy of about that and that and that, and then the most also provide different scholarship to go in France. And I heard that the most actually uh, would like to favorize the exchange between Taiwan and Europe. And I heard also that they're going to make some specific grant between France and Taiwan. I don't know more detail, but that you could read that on some most application. 
there we are for the PhD. So in fact, you see, and uh, that is the first thing, it is possible to come and you are welcome. Alors, first, don't be afraid because everyone speaks English in France. And it's very good also because you can learn French if you want. But in my lab, we speak, we are obliged to speak uh, English because I have an Italian, a Russian, a Colombian, a German. I have some French, uh, Chinese from the mainland. So we speak English. And some of them, I know, for example, uh, the Russian learned French. He speaks French very fluently, as well as the Colombian. The Italian refused to speak <laughs> French. So that is up to you. Huh? That, uh, it's all. So that is the, uh, the situation, more or less, for the PhD. I will continue, and then I will talk about the postdoc, and then you can ask me what, 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 which kind of question you want. Concerning the postdoc, it's also more your job. First, you need to find an institute or a PI. So please, try to find a good institute, a good PI, and the lab in which they publish good paper. Don't go in a lab because you find that the PI is very a very friendly guy, could be friendly, but he could be lazy. Don't go in a lab because the PI in Taiwan told you, oh, I know him, he's a very good friend of me, I think you should go to visit him. Maybe it's a good idea, but before, try to see what he has done. Don't go also in, like you do all of you, in US, because the cousin of your mother is already living at two hours by fly from that, try to do what yourself you would like to do. Try to know what you want to do. It's very important. Huh? Because if you are doing something that you don't, you are not attracted by that, don't do it. For example, uh, uh, if, if you don't like chocolate, don't eat chocolate. Uh, the, even if someone tells you chocolate is wonderful, huh? if you don't like ice cream, don't eat ice cream. <laughs> because uh, I don't know. So you see, it's exactly the same. It's very important. It's what I say to everyone. Uh, try to do uh, what you want. So what is important is the field, the topic, and then the topic you can discuss, and the country. In all the countries in Europe and in France, in all the good labs, we speak English. Because I, I start to be sick that in France, no one, yes, it was true 20 years ago, but also uh, in, in certain university in Taiwan, uh, they don't speak English also. So, but now they progress, we are obliged, especially the good. So something which is important, and I think it's something that I would like to tell you. When you decide to go abroad, if you are pairing, if you are already with a boyfriend or with a girlfriend, it no, you no, know, yes, you laugh. It's very important because me, I am sometimes very obliged to solve some personal problem when you are here. So the problem between a couple, I am not. Uh, it's not my problem, and it's also if you decide to go by two, try to really be sure that you want. To go abroad is an adventure. I may tell you, my last adventure was three years ago when I decided to come in Taipei. Coming in Taipei for a French who speak English, who know nothing about the Taiwanese culture, I may tell you the two first week, it was not so easy. But I am a little bit old, so I can accept a lot. But also for you, because I have also some students. They came alone, but the girlfriend stayed there. If the girlfriend stayed there, you can be sure that after three months, it's break. I can have the experience with all my students. They can be Taiwanese, they can be Italian, they can be Russian. It's exactly the same. Because you know, the regulation of everyone is always the same. We are regulated by hormonal problems. You should think also about that in the brain as well as somewhere else. So it's very important. 
if you decide to come. And it is also not easy, for example, if, for example, especially when it is the guy are coming, and if they came with, the, with your girlfriend, if she has to stay all the day long, waiting for you in a flat of 20 square meters. It's not pleasant for her, you can imagine. So you should also, if she comes, either she's also a scientist, in this case it's good, and she can find a, another lab, or she has ID to do something, for example, to go to the university to learn humanity, or to try to, to be lawyer, or to learn how to do the French cooking, or whatever you want. There's a lot of possibility. Uh, first to learn French and then to do. Or if you have a kid, she can have a, she can take care of the kid and then to try to be in contact with kindergarten like that she can meet some other people and try to do something. It's more difficult for the, the lady when it is the scientist, the guy who is coming. When it is the contrary, so the ladies are much stronger the problem is the problem of the guy, and the guy will find a problem. So it's very important. I don't think that because uh, I may tell you, I always found uh, some problem like that, and then it will make you sad. It will mean you uncomfortable, and it's very important. If you are sad, if you are uncomfortable, you are not happy. If you are not happy, you don't do good research. You waste your time, and it's not good. I insist on that. It's very important. Huh? So, so I told also that, and especially because uh, I have also, I think it was uh, someone from a Latin American country. It was the guy who came, and she did not speak neither English nor French. And then uh, she was depressed, and after three months, they were obliged to go back in the country, both of them, because she could not. Uh, it's very important. So. so choose as a function of you the lab, huh? not because the PI, not because your friend or your family, not because everyone in America. I think a postdoc or uh, to make a PhD abroad. I just encourage you not to try to find in the big city you can find another Taiwanese because it's crazy. Try to integrate. I may tell you, I did my postdoc in Sweden. I never met French. When I was here, they already asked me to meet the French community. I don't want to meet them because I can meet French when I am in France. And it is very important. I may tell you, during my postdoc, I met a Russian guy, 40, 45 years later, we are still in contact. A Mexican, a German, and we are still in touch. And it's very good because you learn the others. What is wonderful in a postdoc is, of course, to go in the lab, to learn new techniques, to learn something, but to know the culture and to know the people. You see, the dream for people like you, it's once you will have a friend who tell you, why don't you come for a dinner at home? And then you will see that you start to be integrated. But don't try to meet the first Chinese restaurant that you will see in the big city. Usually they are not good, first. <laughs> Maybe it's true, because very often they are not, the, the chef is not a, a Taiwanese, is either Japanese, a Vietnamian, or someone who is from Asian country. And they call that Chinese restaurant. So, Try to, to integrate, and I think it will be very good, because then if you are open on the others, the other will come. It's not easy. Huh? It's not an easy exercise, but I think it's fantastic, uh, fantastic stuff. For example, I may tell you, uh, after my postdoc and things, my kids, now they are 35, 36 years, they were going to spend vacation in the US. They were going to spend vacation in Scandinavia. We receive. The, the kids from one of my friends, postdoc from Japan, they came to spend weeks vacation in France. Other from San, they can spend. And then you have exchange, and you know 
you learn the orders, you learn the culture, and then you learn the, the research. And then you create a kind of network, and that is very fantastic. I forgot also to tell you that among the scholarship that we have for the postdoc, there is also some prestigious scholarship. I think the scholarship from the most is also very prestigious. I think you can also apply for the Human Frontier Science Program. You may have a scholarship from that. It's also very prestigious. On your CV to say that you have that, it's the top. You have also scholarship from Europe. I think that now Taiwan starts to have a very strong relationship with Europe. I think among the ASEAN countries, I think Taiwan is certainly the first who has very strong relation with Europe. And then there is some partnership and some scholarship. So then you should go and you should read what's up. Or if you don't know, we can go to, you can go to your, uh, your, your PI or you can go to the French office. So now, as I told you, I insist and insist and insist because what I saw, I go in US very often. I can show you that in US, you have some lab in which you have no American at all. It's in the Middle West. You have mainly Chinese from the mainland and Indian. So you see it's not interesting. And I, I don't ap approve the PI who decide to work such a Me, I will hate to have a lab with the same category of, let's call, animals. <laughs> I like to have a dif different animal, different people. Why? Because it's fantastic. You have different culture. And all the success that we have in research is also because everyone look at a topic on his own way on his own scientific way, but also on his own cultural way. I may tell you another example. I had one a Russian in my lab, and we needed to make a very small chromatographic column. We could not do. We needed to have one, one, uh, one uh, centimeter, one uh, uh, centiliter, centiliter, very small. We could not find. The Russian has a good idea, he came through the tubing and he make a chromatographic on a tube. It's nothing but just because he has something. You always have the people who do that. I have a Japanese who came in my lab. He was a dermatologist. It was very good in dermatology and uh, he knew nothing in molecular biology. This guy came, you know, with this kind of touch of the Japanese to design and to make something. He tried, he wanted to make a cartoon concerning the paper we had. He discussed with his wife. She was, she loved to make flower and things like that. And we had a wonderful picture that was published. You know, little things come like that help you to do. Try, if you decide to go abroad, if you want to meet Chinese from the mainland of Taiwanese, better stay here. Better stay here. Don't go there, because you waste your time. It's good to meet other people. So now, in France, we have good lab. It's the lab from the Centre National de la Recherche Scientifique, or Institut National de la Santé, Health and Medical Research, of Institute of Research for the Development. Each of them, they have a certain expertise. Usually, they are good lab. And they are under the control of the university. Don't go in a lab which is not under the control of CNRS in terms of ERT, because they were not labeled, so which means that they were not great lab. You have different institutes, and you have the big city. For example, uh, I don't know, you know the French, Marseille, which is in the south of France. You have wonderful institute is immunology and in development with great guy and also in cancer research because they are associated with uh, Pauli Calmet Cancer Research Center. In Lyon, in Lyon, in Lyon here, the 
uh, medical school have some interaction with Lyon, with the Cancer Research Center of Lyon. And there is a very big uh, uh, institute, Ecole Normale Supérieure, high level. Of course, I will tell you Strasbourg, where I came. Strasbourg is my institute, Institute de Génétique, de Biologie Moléculaire et Cellulaire. This institute was during several years the first one in Europe. You have in Strasbourg others. If you work in plant, you have an institute in plant, which is doing very, very well. You have Toulouse, Cancer Research Center. Bordeaux, you have for neuroscience. Montpellier, you have human genetic, and you have structural biology. Nantes, you have much more clinical and mod medical research for the rare disease. Paris, of course, Paris is Gustave Roussy, Cancer Research Center, who start to have connection with the Cancer Research Center here. You have the pa famous Pasteur Institute. You have the Curie Institute for Cancer Research. Pasteur Institute is for the infection. Cancer Institute, Curie for that. And you have, for human genetic, you have Imagine. And you have different hospitals. So then you can see. But before you choose something, we can help you to try to identify someone or to tell you it's a good idea. So that is also very important. So what you are doing now is very important. Last year I was there and I had I don't know how many students and postdocs who came with their CV. It's very important to know how to write a CV. A CV, you should, it's very delicate, it should be only one page because the CV should reflect your personality, who you are. Don't hesitate on a CV to say, during four months, four months, I was obliged to sell peanuts in the street, because it means that you wanted to do something. You were not assisted. Don't hesitate to talk about your expertise. I am able to do chromatography. I am able to grow the cell. I am able to do that. Try to do, to say what you have done. If you have done a paper, if you were on the paper, write that you wait on the paper. It's very important to write a CV. And 95% uh, of the student does not know how to write a CV. It's very important. Because you know, sometimes we receive 10 or 20 CV. If we don't immediately understand who is the guy, we eliminate it. It will be good also on the CV to give the name of people as a reference, of course, from Taiwan, and try to have people who know you, who know who you are, who know who you work. And if this person has also a good CV, it's good for you, because the PI in France can try to phone, OK, my colleague, so I have uh, this kind of guy is coming now. Huh? What do you think about that, blah, blah, blah? So, that is also very good. So try to do that. And you should write a letter you also, in addition to the CV, a letter. Why you want to reach the lab. I remember, I can call you, it was one of the students. He wrote a letter in a very naive way. He wrote a letter to go in a lab doing molecular biology. Oh, he said, dear professor, my name is blah, blah, blah. I came from this country. Uh, I would like to make a PhD in, uh, in your lab. I may tell you, I like to do research and especially immunology. If you write that you like immunology and you want to go to a molecular biology lab, then <laughs> the PI start to say, OK, this guy is special. So you see, and uh, I always can give you some, uh, S some, some, some little stuff like that is good. And don't hesitate to show the, your, P, your CV to a friend, to your PI, to someone, and to criticize, because it's good to be criticized. So more or less, that's what I have to let you know. Now I am ready to answer to any kind of question. Don't hesitate. Huh? There is no. I, I don't know if I could answer to all the questions, but I will try. And uh, the next month, uh, I will be, I will be, I have an office here 
I hope that uh, it will be rather often here. Or maybe you can uh, see uh, yourself or they can come and then we can make appointment and they can help for different stuff. And uh, don't hesitate. Uh, it's part of my job to be here. And I told you the NTU invite me to come here, not because my eyes, just because I can be useful for the NTU student, PI, or so on. So don't hesitate, OK? OK, if you have question. Yes. OK. Uh, hello, Dr. Jim. Thank you for your, Thanks for your speech. It is it gives a lot of information that helps me. And uh, I'm, my name is Kai. I graduated from the uh, Animal Science Department of NTU. And uh, I would like to know that why the PhD program in Europe can limit it in three years or four years, and why the uh, it's a very good question. <clears throat> you have to think something. Uh, I will make statistic. When in life science, when you start a project, and you start, it could be for the PhD, for the postdoc, you become to be productive. I mean, you are able to produce one paper of a middle level for GBC, EMBO, impact factor 8, 9, after 29 months. It takes 29, it takes almost two years and a half to three years to make a paper of your as a first author. Because it's life science. You know, you, the cell has to grow. <laughs> You have to make the mice, you have to make knockout, you have to do that and that. It takes time. For the drosophila, it's the same. It takes time. So that is like that, and then you cannot. The first point, that is if you are working seriously. It's not if you are working five days a week, forget it. Right? In life science, you need to work. So, and then, and then after that, I me told you why I told you about the four years. All my students succeed to make the best paper in the future. I can give you the name. Jean-Philippe Lenné, an EMBO paper as a first author to set up an in vitro system after four years. Vincent Moquet, two EMBO paper. He was working like, like a crazy. During two, three years, nothing. And suddenly, paf, he has all the technique and then the puzzle work. Mireille Rossignol. Sell paper after four years. You know, you have students like that, and they, they, they need to do uncertain things. And why now we stop? Because four years is enough. After four years, you need to have another experience. Don't forget, after four years PhD, don't forget you have 26 to 27 years old. You are no more a kid. You are no more a kid. You are. A, you, we have also the tendency to consider you as a kid. No, you are a man, you are a lady, you are a man. You, are a f you want, want to make a family, you want to have a salary, you cannot uh, snack every day, have a sandwich somewhere and think. And then I think it's enough, and I'm sure. Three years in life science is not, because I have done the value I gave you, because I had the responsibility at different level, and myself one day I wanted to know why. And it's two years and a half you published the first paper. So now the next question. Why in the other country? US, they like to have the slave. Maybe. And also, you have also to think. In my lab, people were working. Because it depends how you work in the lab. If you work five days, in life science, it is impossible to work five days a week. You cannot explain to the drosophila, to the cell, stop to grow. I go in vacation. Stop to grow. I will come back Monday. Don't grow the cell, because I cannot. You cannot do that. If you do that, you delay, delay. Because if you don't, so it does not mean that you should be uh, always sleeping here. But you need that you need to work. In life science, is special. And we are working on. We have to fight against the degradation, contamination. When you have mice, the mice, they will not tell you when you make mice to be coupled. They will not tell you. 
when are you going in vacation? Because I think I am pregnant. I, I won't. She, the mice cannot tell you that. So you have to be there to come maybe a Saturday after a party to see what is doing the mice. Otherwise, she will hit the, the baby. And then you will lose two, three, four months of work. So then you have to think about that. So then when they told me in some lab they take five, six years. In 50% of those labs is because they are not working enough. Not only the student, but also the PI. So then, so. in the other way, of course, I may tell you, for me it's very difficult because the students are productive after the four, starting the fourth year. Of course I would like to keep them. Sometimes I try, but it's not good for the student because the student could need to, go to do that. That is one of the reasons. Yes? You had a question? Bonjour. Just to ask, for the doctoral, there are two possibilities. Is that right? Oui. Oh, no. There are four. Four, yes. Four. It's either the place proposed by UPRE, or National Education. Oui, soit on contacte directement avec PI, ah, yes. soit euh, on rejoint l'association. Oui. Yes. C'est ça yes. ah, Ok, d'accord. Et ça, il date. Et, mais pour la, la recherche dans le master, euh, comment on rejoint le laboratoire That is a good question. This is a good question. For the master, when you want to do. For very often, it should be by uh, a network. For example, six months is six months. You never know what the student will. Or maybe the student already has an ID. For example, you can have an ID to say, OK, I know that there is a lab uh, in Strasbourg <laughs> who they are doing uh, interesting molecular biology. But if I can, why don't I go to do a master's degree there? And for you, it's a way to see if you will like the field if you will appreciate, and then you decide either I stay for a post for a PhD or not. But it's also a way. The other way is also to uh, go somewhere else to see how it is. And maybe you are in another country, and then you think, it's not too bad to come back in Taipei. Maybe I will stay, make my PhD in Taipei, and then I will go back for a So, so that so it could help. Pardon? So the laboratory, maybe you, you, you stay in master, is that benefit to your university? No, no. Uh, the, the laboratory for the master, the master is a university diploma. Yes. But the lab are CNRS, INSERM, INRA. You see, it's a little bit complicated in France because we have a separation between CNRS. But the, the CNRS are research institute. They can have make master degree for the laboratory work, but the school will be done at the university. And very often, the PI are teaching in the university, like it is here, I guess. So the master degree it could be interesting six months. And I heard that <coughs> you may have option. If there is an agreement, for example, you are working in fly, there is a lot of lab in France working on fly. And it could be good, for example, you go to see you and you say, oh, yes, I know there is a lab and they are doing expertise, experiment. That could be also interesting for us in the future. And it could be a way. You see? OK? okay. Other question? Yes. You um, mentioned that English is um, an easy way to communicate with people there, but uh, in the application, is there have any language you request? If I have what, I don't understand. Uh, if during the application. Um, application. Application. Do we need to pass that? Say, like we go to the states and get the TOEFL. Yes. And then the uh, SAT something. If you want to go to French, yes. uh, French go for a higher degree. Yes. Uh, do we need to pass the As you mentioned, say, if they're ready to speak the French, no. the requirement? No. Only if you want to become French. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, 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 no. It, you, you don't. Need. But you know, I, 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 it's a function of what you want. If you want to follow some course in the university, for example, if you want to go for the master one, then you have uh, eight months of course very often in French. So that is for that. But otherwise, you, it's not an obligation. Because in my lab, all the meeting, the lab meeting, uh, are in English. So it's not a problem. Thank you. It's no more a problem. It could have been a problem 15 years ago, but no more now. Other question? If you have no further question, uh, I will give you five minutes, a brief introduction about what I understand from uh, Professor Agri in the Mandarin. Tatarina, 在欧洲的学员同学三年在美国同学的五年到五年半那在学校里面他在第一年就两个月的时间这可能不给钱就只有两个月的时间但是在第二年有花六个月的时间在实验室的时候你有四百五十大概一万六百一万八之间的薪水
还有其他中南美洲的人，可以学习不同各种文化。你沟通之间必须要用讲英文去去去沟通，这是个蛮好的研究。然后，这个你要为什么要三年能毕业？第一，你实验要做，要知道什么时候把实验写好。那在他也推荐说，在 CV 里面呢写的就是要知道你这个 personality 要写什么东西，一页就好，不要写太多啊，把你自己。你 who you are and what you work， 呃，写得很清楚。然后在在推荐信里面，通常你要写推荐信重重要的是，我在而且在中央研究院做，我常看这个信的 review。你知道吗？有些人就太就是太太 sloppy， 写完又有些人啊，你是叫我写，或者你写完乱签字，有时候名字都写错，还有像刚才讲的，申请错错所了，是吧？哦。我这学生非常好，非常好。现在来申请阳明大学生命科学系，希望什么？哎、欸，我们就是国立台湾大学，不喜欢阳明大学了，就写的很直拉皮。所以一定要自己要梳理掉这些。然后你看看你的方向在哪里，你要选人还是选学校？其实你要走的是你兴趣最重要。你要到哪个哪个单位去的话，你的兴趣是最才是你自己真正想要去的地方啊。然后你要这个，你如果一个礼拜工作五天，三年毕业是很困难的。是啊，说在在生命科学，在 life science 啊 ，animal science 这些，通常在刚研究生，它是日以继夜，早上一个礼拜七天都在做实验，然后把你的实验，把你的意外情形，努力工作，知道你的目标，把你意外发生的事情放在一起，不要因为刚才讲到，不要因为不要去模拟你的 sale， 谁要靠就，我礼拜明明知道礼拜六要我要出去玩，结果呢，这细胞到礼拜六才要去收。欸、放弃，放弃，有礼拜再来。我刚刚有什么 contamination 啊，其他意外总是会发生的，所以你要把这些估算进去，你时间才不会拖太久，不会三年的契约延长到四年，四年到时候又毕不了业，这四年也很麻烦哦。还、哎、有这里有很多的这些，你看这些他举的这些实验室这些人，都是在 hard worker， 是在发表在 CDC， yes， 啊，在发表在 science， PAS， molecular cell， ambo 这些。It is just to show you the foreigner, J. He came from Korea. GBC paper, Ashimoto from Japan, a science paper, Velez Cruz from Puerto Rico, USA, PNAS and second author on mole cell, Epanchisev, Russia, mole cell, first author, Feuerhan, Germany, a very bright student, one of my brighter students, Embo Antiques, Costanzo, Italy, from Sicily, mole cell, or PhD, Bernardes Jesus, Portugal, MCB. So you see, most of them, they came, they did not speak French. What is amazing is for this one, Hashimoto, typical Japanese. But he came with the kids two years. He stayed five years in my lab. And after that, it was really amazing. When he was going to do shopping, you had the kids of four years old who were making the translation for between the father and the lady. Oops, uh, and the person were completely surprised when you see a little kid like that <laughs> to explain to the lady what his father wants. The, the kids speak fluently French, the father not. But just to show you that depends. But如果你說上一個康全的PhD博士一樣,那PhD已經都會想到我也不是。通常這個一兩年之間,你在上課的時候就做實驗,看你PhD是不是應這個實驗室,你是不是應走學術的路線。所以你到Master玩以後,你可
我不一定觉得是你好。我们太多的 c o l l e a g e 是从诺贝尔奖实验室得主里面出来的。我不知道说在这个诺贝尔奖，这个老板这么聪明，实验室这么有钱，你的学习很厉害，你的你你的同事很强，所以你很好，那是应该的。但是今天他们是一个第三年到学校申请教职，要是一个研究机构做的研究生的时候，没有了这些资源，没有这些聪明的 p e e 在在鞭策你的时候，你可不可以变成你你真的 p e 当你没有你老师帮助你，当你没有这么好的助理，是不是？当你没有这么实验室这么有钱，可以让你随便买每都都每所有东西都都都是买 kit， 没有从自己配的时候，你可不可以这样子？所以 post d o c t o r 的权利很重要啊！所以你做完这个以后，就开始请你老板写信啊，到什么？到其他地方去做你博士后研究，然后在博士后研究时才能够知道说你这份未来走的方向到哪里。我就耽误大家这么多时间，但是我就是把他们这些可能的情形啊，跟其实欧洲跟美国大概都差不多的情形。呃、uh, ，Any questions？ 就 OK。Don't hesitate huh, when you, you, you okay, can see. Don't ca there is no stupid question. Huh? Don't try. If I am not here, you, you have to go to AD. They will know when I am here. For example, next Monday, I will be there. Tuesday, I am at the Academia Sinica. So let's give Professor Egri another warm hug. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>